It's time for us to sink our teeth into a new game. This one is called The Phenomenon Meteorite. This is actually the second game in the series. If you want to watch the first one, I've actually recorded it here. It's called The City of Cyan. There'll be a link for its video playlist down in the video description for this video and all of the videos, actually, in Met Metrolite? No, that's not what we're playing. Meteorite, not Metrolite. I don't know what I'm reading, but it's Meteorite, second game in the series. Uh, this is the collector's edition. I actually bought this game twice. I actually bought the standard edition, and then after I finished City of Cyan, I said, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and get the collector's edition. So that's right, I got both versions of this game. Don't ask any more questions than that. I, I, it's an addiction. I know. I need help. Uh, what do we have here? So we do have our strategy guy, which is our standard kind of uh, stuff here. What's this hidden gallery thing? So I don't know what that's all about. Uh, is that another peek there? Maybe the table of contents? Word games? Oh boy. I'm not even sure what this is. But anyways, we're going to get into it. I'm really excited to play this. I truly enjoyed the first game. And, uh, <laughs> pardon me, I'm ready to get into the second one, so let's go ahead and hit the play button. Uh, yeah, casual expert, I think we all know where I'm going to land on that one. I've been traveling for two days straight on my way to some mysterious island. My parents should be there. I haven't seen them in 20 years. I don't remember much about the night they left. It was raining, and the suitcase my father put down next to me seemed huge. My mother told me not to be afraid, that the people in the house would take care of me, and then they were gone. The door opened, and a pair of strong hands lifted me up and took me in. It all happened so fast, I didn't even have time to get scared. I remember the warm fire inside the house and the mountain of gold shining in the suitcase. I fell asleep to the sound of someone reading a note from my parents. We are in terrible danger and must leave you our son Daniel to ensure his survival. We beg of you to care for him. My foster parents were kind and they treated me as their own son for 20 years. But a few days ago, they gave me a box with an old map inside. Daniel, once you turn 25, you will be in grave danger. You must travel to Meteorite Island to discover the truth. Don't waste a moment. Come to the island. If we have survived, we will be waiting for you there. Suddenly, all the old questions about my parents came back, and I set out to find some answers. I can see Meteorite Island on the horizon. I don't know what I'll find there. All right, we're here. Uh, look what we found here. We found a little girl. Uh, would you like some interactive help? Why, yes, I sure would. Daniel! You're finally here! My name is Gloria. I've been waiting for you. Gloria? Who's Gloria? Hi, Gloria. How do you know my name? I've heard of you. I know your parents met on the island and got married, just like mine. But they weren't members of the same order. That's prohibited on the island. It's punishable by death! <laughs> okay. Do you know what happened to them? No, I hope they're still alive. But you're the one who should be careful now. The monks are sworn to destroy the children of unlawful unions. Wow, look at the hair, it's all wispy. Anyway... Then how are you and I still alive? Your parents hid you, and I was saved by the Watchmaker. He's the keeper of this tower. Oh, and he's expecting me. I'll see you again soon. Alright, so I guess we are not exactly welcome here. That's 
unfortunate. So I can put that there. Got a box that we need to figure out what to put on the top there. So what did I just pick up? Journal. Ah, uh, see this is what I really like about the Puzzle Lab is they tell you the journal is actually based on the story and then you can have access to all the little cutscenes, which I think is great. Island history, I don't know what this is all about, but uh, huh, interesting. So, can I even look here? I'm probably going to need some lenses. Yeah, that's what I figured. So I did get some matches, so yeah, I just did that game. Yeah, it's keep up with me here. Alright, so we have a map here. Cool map. Oh, they definitely made an improvement on the map from the first game. Wow. Look at it. We got an underwater tunnel thingamajiggy here. Hee hee. Oh, this is neat. I like it. You are here. You have an area with an active task. More... Oh, oh move over the task button to see them. Okay. Search the coastline. Tasks for your current location. Reveal the secret compartment. Huh. Neat. There are gaps in this panel. I bet it's a secret compartment. There's still something missing. Okay. What the heck was that? Monster horn. You can light that up, no? I'll take whatever that is. Acorn? Pine cone? Sure, that, that works. Yeah, there are some bits and pieces here. And a disc. Hmm. Alright, well, I guess we should go to the observatory, or at least in that general direction. Oh, look, it's a, a lovely little squirrel. Turn basket, we'll take that. Ornament. Mm. Guess I can't do anything here yet. Uh, I'm not sure what I would actually be expected to put here. I don't know. None of those things. It looks like there might be something that goes across. We'll have to wait and see. Whoa, check this out. So this is kind of what I like about the series, the Phenomenon series. It's a mixture of fantasy and science fiction, which I think is a great combination. So it looks like I'm going to have to somehow get that open. A deity altar. Okay. Something's missing at the base. Hmm. What a complicated lock. It looks like something needs to be inserted into the slot. So that's not going to do it either. Oh, I can put the horn on there though. And now I have a rope ladder. <laughs> Because, you know, that's a good place for storing rope ladders. Gargoyle. Gonna have to somehow cut this off here, aren't we? Oh no, it's this bracelet. Oh, that's only one bracelet. We need the second bracelet. So we still need lenses for there. Clock tower. Clock tower. What's my map say? Actually, it says that we need to go... He, I don't know. It says that... Oh, let's just use a hint here. I don't... quite know what I'm supposed to be doing here. How do we get up there? With gloves, maybe? Alright. I don't know what I would need to be doing here. Oh, a bracket, maybe. So I guess I need another bracket. 
That would be my guess. This would go here now. Near the bridge. Hey, Nippers, where have you been? Oh, see, told ya. Aha. Nippers. Clear all that glass out of there. Got myself whatever that is. Eyepiece, okay, is that going to be for our... Yep, that is. Okay, so I still need lenses, though. But I do have nippers, so we can nip things. Nip them in the bud. Whoa, and there's the other bracelet. I'll take that. Carved tree. Is there something under the bark? I have no idea. See if we can find something like a knife to just check. Uh, what are we going on here? Something has been removed from this opening. And I have nothing that looks like that at all. Not even a rope ladder. It'll save me now. So yeah, it looks like we still have to stay here. So gargoyle. No, I don't see anything with the gargoyle. And we already tried all this stuff. That looks like a sea turtle skeleton there. Oh, maybe we can put this here. Yes, we can. There we go. Now we have that thing. It goes over here. Whoa! My Hi foster there. parents just gave me the map of this place a couple days ago. Is there any reason they would have waited until now? Some strange meteorites fell onto the island a long time ago. They affect people. After 25 years, people born on the island start to get special abilities. You must be about 25, right? Sure. Yeah, but I don't feel any different. Is there something I have to do to get these abilities? The monks each have an amulet of the elements. They use them to learn and store their abilities. The ones with more abilities are much more powerful. You should find one of the amulets if you want to figure out what you can do. Where can I get one? I heard the watchmaker say there was an empty one in the dungeon of the clock tower. Okay, but where should I go with the amulet when I find it? Hmm. I'll tell you later. Let's meet by the living gate. I'm not sure I trust this girl. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Alright, so we have new tasks. Meet Gloria by the living gate. Acquire an empty amulet of the elements in the dungeon to find out more of your special abilities. Okay. Oh, cool. Now I have a real rose, a pink flower, apparently. I don't know if that would go here. No. Nope, 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 nope. Maybe it goes here? Nope. Here. Okay. Instructions. The right half of the living gate has collapsed. I need to repair it with the appropriate leaves and flowers. Say what? How does this even work? Oh. Huh. This is neat. This is definitely different. I can't tell if that goes there or not. Yep. Might as well do all these, I guess. There must be somewhere else where this that leaf goes, because can't quite make it out. Hi there. Hi, Daniel. You need to take the amulet and go to the underwater tunnel. 
You need a password to get in, though. It changes daily. A Phoenix delivers the new password every morning. That certainly sounds complicated. Well, I can make my way to the dungeon tonight. In the morning, I'll head to the tunnel. What? You can't be wandering around all night with an empty amulet. A patrol will catch you. You have to come back today, this morning. Why are you so eager? Um, what? This morning already happened. What you're talking about is impossible. Not on this island, silly. Just look for the Wheel of Time. It's a little wheel you'll need to attach to a telescope. Okay, time to go. Good luck. All right, well, you got some new tasks here. Find the Wheel of Time, retrieve the password, and bring the amulet. Neat. I like how it all piles up in here. Story goals, huh. So, yeah, so that's definitely interesting. Each time I saw her, Gloria told me something but incredible about this island. This time I found out that it's possible to turn back time. So, let's go this way. So we need to put the fish there, it looks like. And we have something that needs to go there. I don't think that's... Oh, never mind, that's it. But, uh... Oh, we're missing a gear. Okay, fine. Oh, we need that. We're gonna probably have to get an axe to get that out of there. Axe or a mallet. Interesting miner's hat. I wonder what's in there. I'll have to get it open to find out. What is going on here? This fountain represents two elements coming together, but the piece in the center is missing. How do we get this out of here? The lever is really wedged between these stones. I need to use a tool to get it out. It's a neat looking well, but I won't be able to see what's in it without some kind of a ladder. Aha! Okay, we'll be back to do that in just a split second here. I want to go here and put that there. Grab that gear, it looks like. Go back here. Ah, uh, what are we doing here? Oh my goodness. Light all of the balls by connecting them in one continuous line from the left arrow to the right arrow? Say what? Uh... I'm not sure if this will work, but... Oh, and we gotta do it again! Yay! Oh boy. not gonna work is it okay no it's not gonna work either nope. Let's see if we can do it this way maybe Yep, I got it. Cool. So we can go into the crypt, or we can do the well shaft. Once you find all the objects from the list, you will earn an item for your inventory. Okay. Click on the target. Alright, so we've got a goblet, a watch. Yeah, yeah, I know about the hint there. Harness, drum, bellows. Okay, I don't need the hint. Okay, force me to use the hint. Get the association finder. It will help you if you get stuck. What? Select an object from the list to call up the association finder. 
Finder will provide a visual clue and a set of letters. Correctly unscramble the letters to form a word related to the object. Indian. Uh, I have no idea what this thing's doing. Why won't D go there? Because <sighs> I'm not putting it in the right spot. That's kind of neat. I have to admit, that is kind of neat. Alright, a goblet, a drum. She was up there too, did you see her? I saw her up there. Bellows. That's a goblet, I'm sure. The time portal transports you to the past and again to additional objects. I guess I'll have to go here now. So yeah, this was definitely a feature of the first game, which was really cool. So we still got a bunch of stuff here, it looks like. And I don't know what to do with that just yet. Nor that. Need an explosive solution, do I? I don't know what I'm blowing up. Christmas trees in here somewhere, apparently. And shackles. So what the hell... What, what am I doing with this? Berries. Paddle and shackles. And gold somewhere. So we need a paddle and shackles. Okay, there's your shackles. So what kind of paddle am I looking for here, game? And what am I blowing up? That's what I'm blowing up. Boom! There's some gold in there. Okay, paddle time. Time to get paddled. There's our paddle. Oh wow, I still got a ton of stuff to find here. So we need a drum, a net, and an envelope. And we got everything. Yay! Okay, Bellows, come with me. We're going on an adventure, Bellows. This is where we pause. We'll be back for more Phenomenon 2 Meteorite. I'm your Gibbs. Thank you all for watching. And let me know what you think of the game so far. I would love to hear about that in the comments below.